Hi friends, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your iPad as a planner. In this video, I will be answering a lot of my most frequently asked questions and going over some tips and tricks on using your iPad as a planner. I've seen a lot of people who are new to the idea of digital planning and are interested in getting started. So I am here to guide you step by step. I know it can seem overwhelming at first with all the apps and files, but I promise you it's super simple and I hope this video gives you an easy understanding so you too can start your digital planning journey. I feel that it's always easier to learn by watching someone, so today I will be showing you my entire digital planning setup. I will be going over the apps you'll need, the download process, the importing process, and at the very end, I will be showing you how to get a free mini digital planner. All right, let's get started. All right, so let me start off by answering the number one question I get. What is digital planning? So digital planning is essentially a PDF document which you can write on using a PDF annotator app, such as GoodNotes, so you pretty much get all the benefits of planning in a much more organized and environmentally friendly way. Another great perk is that you can access your planner from different devices. I access mine from my phone if I want to take a quick glance at something or sometimes I will look over it on my computer if need be. I just put out my new 2023 digital planner in which I have an entire video walking you through this planner and all of its features. So I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. So let me show you how to get this planner right on your iPad. So for my planner, you will head over to creativelyclaudia.com and if you are on an iPad or phone, you will click on these three little lines right here and you will click on the arrow in the shop and click on buy planners. I currently have a sale going for this planner, so as of right now, you can get it for 50% off. Feel free to scroll through this page to see a preview of it. So once you have gone through the process of purchasing this planner, you will receive an email that looks like this. It will contain your download link, so you will just click on it and it will open up a new page with a download button. I am obviously covering up the download link for obvious reasons. Um, but you will see it right where this is covered. This is the page that will open up. You will click the download now button right here. You will click the download button once more. You will see a little a down arrow download button right here in the upper right corner of your screen. So you can click on it and you will see that you have downloaded the planner right here. Click on the planner and you will be taken to this page right here. Click the share button in the upper right corner. You will scroll down and click on the open and good notes button or whichever note taking app you prefer. You will then be redirected to good notes and a pop-up will come up prompting you to import the planner as a new document. You will click import as new document and then you will click import to documents. Congratulations, you have now downloaded your digital planner right on your iPad. Now that you have your planner in GoodNotes, I will give you a quick overview of the basics on how to get started on GoodNotes. So at the very top, you will see a little pen icon. This is what turns your pen on and off. So when it is off, you will not be able to write on your planner. So right now it's off. You will not be able to write on your planner as you can see you can click on the tabs and buttons in your planner. So this planner is hyperlinked, so you can navigate very easily to where you're going. So when you turn on the pen, you can write on your planner, but you won't be able to click on the tabs and buttons once that is on. So I'll be giving you a quick overview of the tools in GoodNotes. This is your pen tool, where you have the option to change what kind of pen you're using. As you can see here, you have fountain pen, ball pen, brush pen. You can also change the color and the weight of the pen. This is how thick the line is, as you can see. Here is your eraser tool, which is pretty self-explanatory, but you can also choose what kind of eraser you'd like. Precision eraser, standard eraser, stroke eraser. You can also choose the size that you'd prefer to use for your eraser. This is the highlighter tool. You have the option of having your highlighter draw in a straight line, or if you toggle it off, you can use it freehandedly. 
You can use the shape tool to help you make more perfect shapes rather than trying to draw them freehandedly. There's a square, rectangle, triangle. And then this is the lasso tool, which makes moving things around and resizing them so much easier. You just draw a little circle or oval and you get a few different options on what to do with your selection. So for example, I can resize this. It's a pretty neat feature and really makes things easier in your digital planner. This is a text tool. This is if you'd prefer to type out your text. I can go way more into depth with this, so just let me know if you'd like a video on that and I'd be happy to make one for you. If you're not sure if you're ready to start digital planning or maybe you want to try before you buy, I have a free mini digital planner that you are welcome to use. Let me show you how to grab yours. So first, you will go back to creativelyclaudia.com. You will see this banner at the top that asks if you want a free digital planner. You will wanna click the yes, please. You can also fill out this form to receive it, whichever way is easier for you. Either one, it doesn't matter, you'll still receive it. The first thing you will see is this form that asks you for your name and email so I can send you your free digital planner. You will fill it out and once you do that, you will receive an email in your inbox. This is what the email will look like. You will want to click on the button that says confirm your subscription and you will be redirected to your free digital mini planner. Now you can do the same thing as before and click on the share button up at the top. Go to open in GoodNotes. GoodNotes will then open up and you will want to click on import as a new document. Click import to documents and your free planner will open right up. This planner is undated and it is also hyperlinked for easy navigation. So feel free to check it out and explore the different features. If you decide this is something you'd like to try out, be sure to check out my other video going over my brand new 2023 digital planner and how you can grab yours. I will also link to it in the description if you'd like to take a look at all the features that it's packed with. All right, that is all for now. I hope this video gave you a better understanding on how digital planning works. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help.